Dear Diary, it's um, 2.54 p.m. and it's um, 31 degrees outside, which means it's probably too goddamn hot. But it sometimes we manage through. Now, um, yeah, basically I woke up this morning with a little bit of a brain, you know, vibration here and there. Um, and, uh, and so far, the day has gone on pretty well. You know, there is no bullshit to be witnessed at social media, no bullshit comments, no bullshit people to to get uh, hit by, you know, things are pretty safe. And, um, although I just keep, every time I'm close to forgetting about that time, I just keep off remembering it back on again. But then again, uh, this is something that I will totally just do my best at, even if it's, um, even if it requires me to play some ridiculously janky as fuck games, you know? And of course, um, not to mention the many, I mean, the many dumb stuff that I could ever do just to forget and to move on. <sighs> Although, even if I, after I move on, I will totally not gonna try and get into any more new people. So it's, um, it's gonna be pretty obvious. Meanwhile, the rest of um, hmm. and as for the rest of the day, I just got my I got my breakfast and started watching a little bit of Relax Alexis videos. One from a from the recent ones and others from the very older ones. And, um, especially the one where he reviewed the, um, the Smash Ultimate's, uh, very first uh, Nintendo Direct. I must say, and that completely parody song at first, it really kind of, really kind of fits, not gonna lie. Like, he literally just said that first, but he's like, This is good to be a Smash Bros. game by far. No, actually, let me rephrase that. <clears throat> this looks like it's gonna be the best Smash Bros. by far. <laughs> and it did. It is the best Smash Bros. game by far. Like, in fact, it is the bi biggest game that you could ever play. Like... You can literally play as everyone's requested character from ever since motherfucking Smash Brawl or something. Sora. And you can have Master Chief as a... And Doom Guy as a Mii Fighter. You can play as Isabel. You can play as Kazuya Fuck Mishima. Terry Petraeus Bitch as Bogart. And the fucking double-faced Shodos. <laughs> yeah. I I know I'm disrespecting the FGC, uh, and especially that they were my favorite characters and everything. But just, well, I'm gonna be real. Um, I'm gonna just say, uh, but I'm gonna do pretty much everything and anything that is required to be able to move on. And getting away from the FGC is just um, it's just my first step. As for the rest is something that comes to me, I guess. Mm. Anyways, and you can have Rest of the Wild Zelda. So, you got remote bombs. And pretty much everything from the last fat, uh, mm. previous Smash games. <laughs> and sometimes, I just want to go back to the time when I was actually hyped up for... Uh, versus Smash games and pretty much hyped up to play some of the other Smash games 
the older ones, especially Smash 3DS, um, Smash Pro, Smash Melee. Smash Pro was probably the biggest game that I've ever wanted to play ever since then. And, um, yes, a Parsec's conversion sometime. Anyways. And let me tell you, it's, um, it was a bit, it was a nice bit of fresh air. It was a nice bit of uh, smell of fresh air that I have watched. And I might just continue doing that at some point. Or maybe just start playing some real Nintendo games. Especially like uh, Metroid. I don't know. And, um, I guess there isn't really that much um my dad's outside for another business trip and uh he's i'm pretty sure that he's gonna be back by today or tomorrow i guess meanwhile i um i guess i i'm supposed to be studying at times but of course I got relax, so there's just much to think about. And honestly, um the way um the way that most things have been and honestly I don't know if I'm even on the right track anymore, or if I'm even living, or if I'm even making any kind of progress in anything at all. Um, however, all I'm going to say is I'm going to do my best to just move on and hopefully um, I can ever reach the older friends that I used to have. So I gave the ones that I ditched them. And, um, just hope for the best, I guess. <sighs> on on another side, I apparently have more of fantasies growing into most of the goddamn women inside those cheesy FMV games. But I know for sure that most of these women are, like, nowadays passed away. And probably for a very early times. Like then I play though. Like um she was a pretty amazing actor uh, back at Night Trap, so uh, and it's kinda shameful that we lost her pretty early. Or in this case, you guys lost her because I wasn't ever existing during during uh, at least the release of Night Trap or its controversy stages or even the time when she passed away. Anyways, um, and honestly, I think that people are living in parallel universes where the most voice actors or actors weren't being replaced by others just because of some controversies or whatsoever. So, um, and honestly, I, um, I'm not surprised. It's like I'm not surprised. Either way, either way, um, like I said, my first step is that I might just step away from the FGC scene, and um, who knows? Who knows what's gonna happen later on? But hopefully, um, things can go into a far better position. And, um, like I said, at the end of the day, um, I'm just gonna hope that, like, I get to move on and just not attempt any more new bullshits or whatsoever. Because, 
know, nowadays you're just being, um, you know, judged for being unique, being you, and being honest at the, at the most. So, uh, and it's pretty sad. Like, it's very, very sad that we have reached to that kind of stage. But then again, um, honestly, I'm not even surprised anymore, because I was going to get fucking cancelled again, because of, because of me being an honest guy, and expressing myself as a normal human individual. Because this is this is the age of this is literally the the time where we live, you know, we're living in a fucking time where even being honest is a fucking crime towards humanity, which is honestly the biggest bullshit that I have ever heard and seen and even read so far. But uh, once again, I'm not surprised because. Um, this isn't the first time that people actually just come at me for being honest. So, I mean, I was gonna get banned from a goddamn server just for being an honest guy. Because if, um, if honesty isn't, if honesty is a fucking, is a fucking crime, then isn't lying also a fucking crime? Like, everything is a fucking crime. Or everything, you just don't even bother to do it. I don't even know. I don't even know anymore. And I don't want to know anymore. Because it's, um... It's been, things have been getting stupid. Uh, lazy. And I just hope that these new goddamn bullshits just go away, you know. Like, hopefully, these, uh, just these new rules and laws and made up stuff just fucking go away like if we're gonna go back to the time where it's only about boys versus girls i'm i'm so I'm, I'm absolutely gonna have no fucking problem going back to that time because uh basically what the age that we live in right now nowadays it's it's fucking nuts it's fucking nuts. It's completely irresponsible. And the fact that we men getting fucking blamed and being attacked the fucking most for the simplest of the things. It's just the biggest fucking bullshit that I have ever heard and ever seen in my entire life. Like, um, I'm sorry, but I don't think we can ever, ever go along with each other. And no wonder God is pissed. But enough about that. Because I know if I continue in this kind of thing, uh, that's going to already con create more controversy and more goddamn dramas and bullshit. And like I said, I don't want to get involved in any more things. I would like things to stay this way where there isn't anything stupid happening, you know? Just uh, looking at my regular things, not getting involved into any more dramas. I'm, and any dramas people are going to tell me to get myself involved at, I'm going to just stay out of it. Like forever. Even if it's for anyone that I ever know or love, I'm just going to stay out of these goddamn dramas. Because I've already I've been involved into one, like four times. Um, the jury in the course of two years and I'm like I said I'm not gonna get myself into this kind of thing again cuz I mean for God's sakes I have I've now became what I literally have hated and trying to avoid for years aka a fucking pedophile I have became the pedophile that everyone fucking hates and I'm possibly wanted. And thanks to that, I don't want to even bother anymore. Alright. I cannot just uh, get out of my circle. And who knows? Who knows what's going to happen? But at this point, it isn't my problem anymore. Like, I just want to 
live whatever is remaining in my entire life without getting any more fucking bullshit. All right, I don't, I don't care about fame. I don't care about bitches. I don't care about money. I don't care about any of this anymore. All right, I just want to live the rest of my life, and uh, the rest can be, I don't know, done by God, I guess. Well, uh, that's it for now, and uh, I'm gonna see you all tomorrow or something. <laughs>